My man Chris just sent me an email about this duplex in Shaker Heights, and I'm going to go through the due diligence on it right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV, and this is the show where we work together with you guys, right? One-on-one, -on -one, right? We help investors do the whole thing or small pieces of the whole thing, right? We have the ability to help you identify properties, do due diligence on properties, represent you as your broker in the purchase of these properties, handle your insurance, Get you set up with the right title companies, handle your property management, renovation, construction, landscaping, plumbing, electrical, the whole thing. We could do all of it. We could do some of it, right? And the guy I'm working with today is a longtime client of mine. His name is Chris. Out-of-state investor. He either has me identify properties in the market for him, number one, or number two, he identifies his own properties just like this one, and he shoots them to me to get my take on it before he makes the move with his capital. Just like you get a home inspection, guys, you want to do your due diligence. And Chris uh, utilizes me to provide due diligence for him, and then I represent him in the sale of these properties go back and forth, battle with the listing agents on his behalf, and then he handles on his own the construction and the renovations and the property management, right? So it's a la carte, guys. You could have us for the whole shebang or just a couple little pieces, whatever you want, right? Uh, we definitely do not get offended. And with this one, Chris, this is a pretty cool property. My thoughts on this, well, first, let's go with the address, right? Let's get that out the way here. 18915 Chagrin, Shaker uh, Chagrin Boulevard, Shaker Heights, 44122. Just hit the market six days, listed at 99000 You shot me the email. You're like, this is an ugly motherfucker. Let's let's look at it. And we get some money when we fix up ugly motherfuckers, guys. That's, that's what it's all about. Now, I did uh, more research on this property as well, Chris. It is, as I'm sure you probably already guessed, right? It was like a little old lady home kind of deal. Uh, it's an estate, right? So uh, someone had passed away and the home interior wise has not been renovated, you know, probably since like the 60s or the 70s. Right. So, you know, we have the completely outdated kitchens and, you know, you just got the little old lady wallpaper, all that. Right. Uh, so the whole thing is going to need a full cosmetic rehab. We got some issues there, obviously. So we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, so full shebang. Right. The pink tiles, those of course, are going to have to go. Uh, just cruising through the rest of the photos so you can see everything. Pretty much everything in this home is going to need touched, right? This is an original furnace right here. This is like a newer one, probably like 10, 15 years old, right? Furnaces, guys, they last 30 years. Usually cost about 3 Gs, but of course, sometimes you get longer. Like this one's probably like 70, 80 years old, okay? So we got a lot of work we got to do to this, but that is, of course, why you target it, Chris. You're not new to the game. You understand that. Now... I don't remember off the top of my head, but I don't think you and I have ever done a deal together where it was in Shaker Heights. Now, you've done other POS cities. I know you renovated that one uh, over in Cleveland Heights a couple years ago, right? So you're not totally in the dark on dealing with the POS, uh, but Shaker, they, of course, have a POS, and they're pretty stringent. They also have an escrow requirement, right? So here's the POS. I got it pulled up on the screen for you, and, uh, you know, there's like a decent chunk of stuff to do, right, which you would obviously understand because you saw the photos. You know you got to pretty much hit everything. So all this jazz, it's a six-page POS, and, of course, Chris, I'll get this to you in PDF. I'm not expecting you to be able to see everything on the screen here. So this is just all the jazz they're going to want you to take care of, right? Interior, exterior. In addition to that, what I have for you, this is the key, right? This is very important for you. This number right here, 15,097.50, right? 
uh, the way the POS escrow and shaker heights works. And for everybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about when I say POS, <laughs> it's not a piece of shit or anything like that. Uh, it's called point of sale. In the show notes below, I have a video discussing what the point of sale process is in the Cleveland market. So if you're new to the Cleveland market, you need to understand that because if you're working with the various municipalities, you're going to be dealing with this point of sale process, right? So going forward, I'm assuming y'all know what I'm talking about because I know my man Chris already knows what I'm talking about. Uh, so this number right here, Chris, right? This is their escrow requirement, right? So you know uh, that you have to, during the time we are in escrow on this property, before you even close, you're going to have to put up this fifteen thousand ninety-seven fifty. Okay, you put that up, then you close on the property, then you do the rehab, then only then can they send back their inspectors, and then you'll get this back. As far as the rehab budget, dude, I believe you're looking at about forty-five thousand dollars, right, to clear the POS. And to cosmetically spruce up those units, uh, you know, it's pretty clear what you need to do. You've renovated several homes. You already know that the wallpaper from the 60s ain't going to fly. You know what fixtures you need to put in. Uh, we like to go with the agreeable gray paint here with the white trim. I believe you do your units in a very similar fashion. So we're looking at roughly forty-five grand to get... Updated kitchens and baths, both units, all cosmetically looking good, and clear off any issues on that POS. Some of the issues on the POS are going to overlap with what you'd need to do in your rent ready, um, but then some of them are going to be minor exterior things because Shaker likes to keep their neighborhood looking good. As far as price, they listed it at 99 and as you'll see there, I have 99 listed too. I think you're going to have to pay 99 for this, Chris, so that puts you all in at 144 uh, The thing you got to understand about Shaker is Shaker's prices are not necessarily going to be driven by investors like you, right? Uh, Shaker is what I consider to be an A-grade neighborhood, guys. Like, for instance, if there's football fans out there, Chris, I'm sure you're a, you seem like a dude who's a football fan for sure. Uh, you, you remember, uh, I was like, not last, it was like two years ago, no, last year. The, the season we just had uh, where the Browns went to the playoffs, right? We had... Uh, Kevin Stefanski, right? Right before him, we had Freddie Kitchens, okay? When Freddie Kitchens got named to be the head coach of the Browns, he bought a house, and the house he bought was in Shaker Heights. In addition to that, we have a lot of, like, lawyers, uh, judges, and doctors who all choose to live in Shaker Heights as well because it's a very affluent suburb, but it's right there. It's right downtown. So your lawyers, a lot of your doctors that work downtown, your lawyers who have to go to the courthouse, the judges, people like that, they, they like to live in Shaker Heights because you're literally right there. So with all that, what I'm trying to get at here, Chris, is this is a city that the prices aren't going to be driven by investors like you. So I ran the numbers for you, and you're going to see the cash on cash return, and you're going to see the cap rate is definitely a lot lower than what you're used to. So it's up to you uh, if you think the trade-off of getting in such a good neighborhood is worth that. I just didn't want to analyze this property in a way for you where I'm like, yo, I think this is a good price as an investment because I think that's irrelevant uh, because I think 99000 I don't see a scenario where the owner-occupied desirability of Shaker Heights doesn't bring that price all the way up, right? Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. But you will be rewarded with high rents, right? Each of these units, when you're all done renovating them, you'll be getting 900 a piece, right? So 1,800 a month, 21,600 a year. Normal performance estimates of the 21.6. I anticipate you spending 14,004, leaving you a 7.596. If you'll notice, that's a little bit higher than usual. Shaker Heights happens to have an incredibly high rate of taxation, right? 5,317 for the year, right? That is huge. Shaker, another thing about Shaker, which is crazy, right? This is something they do in Shaker that they don't do anywhere else. I've never seen this anywhere in the world. Um, in Shaker Heights, like under normal circumstances with, I would assume, probably 99.9% .9 of America, when it's garbage day, right? You take your garbage cans and you wheel them down to the curb and the garbage truck picks them up. In Shaker Heights, they don't actually do that. It's the craziest thing. Uh, they have their big garbage trucks and then they have these dudes in little golf carts and they drive 
into your backyard and then they take your garbage cans and then they put them on their little golf carts and then they drive their golf cart to the garbage truck, dump it out, slap it back on their golf cart and drive it back into your backyard. It's it's totally wild, right? But that's like the type of thing you're paying for uh, with that increased city services, those increased taxation, right? And that's another reason where you're super affluent people, right? Like your people like your Freddie Kitchens, right? The coach, of the former coach of the Browns, right? That's why people like that, the doctors, the judges, uh, they're by the lawyers, right? They're buying these homes, right? They get this luxury living, but they get to be right in downtown. Now, this obviously is not like a super luxury house. Like so these houses where these super wealthy people live. I mean, these are like 500,000, 800,000, a million, $1.5 million estates, right? And then as you get closer to the uh, border of other lower income Cleveland properties, it goes down, right? So you're definitely on the outskirts of like the super wealthy neighborhoods, right? But that's the city uh, as a whole, right? So it's a, it's a mix of like stuff like this, Right, which is still going to be driven up because it's in that nice city like Shaker, but then just like super ridiculously uh, rich people, massively expensive estates. Right, in Cuyahoga County, one of the wealthiest, uh, you know, you'll find some of the wealthiest people in the Cleveland market living here in Shaker. Right, and because of that, you get stuff like dudes driving around on golf carts, uh, throwing away your trash, going into your backyard. Right. So, all just leads to why the prices are going to be driven up, right? Uh, whether or not it makes sense for you as a rental investor. So, 144k is what I think you'll be all in total, right? So that's the 99 plus the 45. Don't forget though, you also had to put up the 15 up front, which you don't get back till after you finish the reno. I think your best bet is to probably just buy it cash. Uh, because the reno is so high, you might as well just do the refinance after the reno. I don't think this is like a burr situation where you're going to get additional value uh, or your appraisal is going to come in more than what your acquisition and renovation costs were. I don't see that happening, right? I just think the, pl the, the prices are just going to be just inflated just based upon the demand there. So I don't think you're going to do any fancy bird deals here. I think you know, you'll probably get it to appraise right for what you got into it, which is the 144. But if you do that, uh, the bank, you know, it'll work out where the bank gives you back 108, your, your normal 25% down into it, which is 36K. And it could be up or down a couple grand off of that. And it would result in a 5.9% cash on cash return and a cap rate of 5.3. So it's up to you uh, if you think all the, you know, nice city services uh, – and the location of this real estate is worth it for you. I'll tell you this, your $900 a month tenants, they're going to be very low uh, low risk tenants, right? You're probably going to get college educated folks. You're going to get, uh, you know, high W-2 income earners. I find it very unlikely that your property would ever appear on the Tenants from Hell show here on Holton Wise TV. So uh, it's your call if you want to make the move. Um, I know that cash on cash return is definitely a lot lower than other things you've purchased, but uh, especially recently, I've noticed you've been purchasing um, pretty nice assets. You seem to be definitely in it for the long haul. I know you're like a young dude. Uh, I think you were telling me you got like three kids under three, right? So, you know, you're on the younger side of things here. So you're definitely in it for the long haul. And I don't think you're necessarily looking for like immediate cash flow to supplement your income. You're looking more for like a retirement play here. So I don't think it's a bad deal uh, by any means. And if you want to make the move, I just think you need to know. I don't think we're going to be able to get any discounts off that list price of 99. So just reply to this private email, brother. Let me know what you want to do. Everybody else, if you're watching this show, just so you know, you do not have the opportunity to bid on this property like Chris did. I sent this video to Chris several months ago, and it was in a private link, so this deal's done. If you're watching it and you're not him, you're just watching it when it got published on Holton Wise TV, and that's just for your education. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like he does, you need to send an email to sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number, and my team will walk you through all the products and services we can provide for you, or we can just walk you through how you want to do it on like an a la carte basis like my man Chris does. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.